Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, my mind is blown. I am so excited about this project. It is transferring an image onto a candle. I am freaking out. All right, and I'm sure you guys already knew this, but I didn't, so. I took a piece of tissue paper and I put a piece of cardstock down, cut out my tissue paper around it, leaving a little bit around the edges. Then I took a piece of, um, what is it called? <laughs> Words are hard. Double-sided tape. I put some double-sided tape on the edge and then I adhered the tissue paper to each side. So I did that for each side. Now listen, if you're a scrapbooker or if you have one of those little tape dispensers that you could just roll on, oh, that would work like a dream. But regular tape would work too. You just want to secure the edges so it can go through your printer. Yes, we're going to print on it. So exciting. All right. So I just adhere each of the sides. Again, I'm using double-sided tape and I'm putting my tissue paper, the shiny side up. So see how it's shiny? that part okay and you have to figure out which way your printer prints um, to know which way to put your um, card stock with your tissue paper on it in but okay so I printed on my inkjet printer and this is the image I chose and then I cut out both the um, card stock and the tissue paper because y'all have you tried cutting tissue paper it is crazy pants challenging <laughs> so then I take some wax paper and I take my image and I have, this is a, I think a six inch pillar candle that I got from Dollar General. And I take my image and I put it on the candle and then I put my wax paper shiny side towards the image and I put it nice and tight all the way around. Now I am using, you could use a hair dryer if you wanted. Um, I have a heat gun and that seemed to work really well, but if you have a hair dryer, that would work too. And I'm using a glove that I, um, it's like a, it's a glove, heat resistant glove. Now look at, oh my gosh, can you see what happens when the heat, you want to keep moving the heat so it doesn't burn, but you want to, see how I'm moving my heat gun? Look at, and you'll see the image get darker. See, oh, that's so exciting. I know, I get too excited about these things, but see, you can see the wax will melt underneath and it'll adhere the image. It is so satisfying, this part, oh my gosh. So you go around and do that for the entire image. And then I just, swipe my hand around the wax paper just to make sure it's adhered and then I slowly peel the wax paper away and oh my god look at the image is still there I'm so excited it's so cool look at how fun this is um can you imagine you could do these for specialized if you're having a wedding or a gathering or a graduation there are so many images that you could put on these candles I am so excited friends I hope you will try this um it was super fun and super easy don't forget forget to hit that follow button for more DIY fun. And remember, blessings, count them be one. Thanks for watching.